Hello, SE Law community. This is SE Law Technologies Guides, Tips, Tricks, and Tutorials. So let's get started. In this video, we're going to try to address the issue that comes up from time to time with Windows 10 and 11 exam takers. Uh, when you are installing Exemplifier either for the first time or trying to update the current Exemplify, the error that may come up is invalid system configuration. Exemplify is not permissible with core isolation memory integrity enabled. So in order to disable that uh, feature, you want to go to Windows Security, Device Security, go to Core Isolation Details, and make sure that if it's on, you disable it by turning it off. And then what's going to happen is you're going to restart your machine and go in and try to reinstall or update Exemplify again. So what happens if you can't even run Windows Security? So for some Windows 11 users, uh, this may come up. And in order to kind of refresh that app, then all you got to do is run a PowerShell. Go out there and search for PowerShell. Run it as an administrator. And what you need to do once it gets into the command line is run this command, which is get dash apex package space Microsoft dot sec health UI dash all users reset dash apex package. So you can copy this directly from this video or in the video notes below. Once you do that, then you can run device Windows security again, go into the core isolation area and make sure you can turn off the memory integrity. So what happens if it's grayed out? If it's grayed out, then you're gonna have to do a little more surgery to your, your computer. And before you even try to attempt the registry editor, you want to create a restore point. Just like that. And the disclaimer here is anytime that you're uncomfortable with trying to do that at this point, then don't attempt it. Then you want to call the vendor their support team, which is at 866-429-8889, extension one. And they are available 24 slash seven or email them at support at examsoft.com and they'll reach out to you and help you with this issue. So let's move on. So now you're going to be brave and try to do the registry editor. So let's go ahead and do that. So you're going to run the registry editor as such, and it's going to come up with the registry editor. And you're going to go to this location, which is computer, H key local machine, system, current control set control. And then you're going to go down to where it says device guard scenarios and under scenarios there should be two keys or folders and it could be credential guard or hypervisor enforce code integrity just like this if there is one or none you may just have to put both in there credential guard or hypervisor enforce code integrity in order to do that you just select scenario which is the key that is above it's going to contain these keys and it's just going to be a new key just like that and make sure it's named credential guard or hypervisor enforced code integrity and each of them you're going to put in a new d word value and call it enabled and make sure it is modified to zero once both of them have that value, and set to zero, then you're going to restart. Hopefully you can get back into the Windows security under device security, core isolation details, and make that change and disable the memory or it's set to off, and then you can restart and install Exemplify.